happy morning students welcome to blue star science in the school online classes 9th standard physical science so in this class we start with unit 15 applied chemistry so it is a concept map for the unit 16 so applied chemistry there are many topics contains okay the first one is nano chemistry so what is mean by nano chemistry drawbacks applications properties so we will discuss in future classes next one is pharmaceutical chemistry so the pharmaceutical chemistry contains a drugs what is mean by drugs what are the characteristics of drugs sources of drugs animals and plants are sources of drugs and types of drugs there are many types in the drugs one by one we will discuss that is anesthetics analgesics antipyretics anti malaria and antibiotics so these are the types of drugs and the electrochemistry so electrochemistry contains the electrochemical cells so the electrochemical cells are further divided into many other topics that is electrolytic cells galvanic cell daniel cell next one is applications electroplating decoration and repair electro refining electro manufacturing so these are the topics contains the electro chemistry the next one is radio chemistry radio chemistry means that study about the radio isotopes so that is the radio chemistry so application diagnosis treatment so the radio isotopes used for the diagnosis and treatment for the medical The next one is dye chemistry. So, what are the characteristics of the dye chemistry? Classification, structure, color. So, these topics include in the dye chemistry. The next one is agriculture and food chemistry. What are the role of agriculture and food chemistry? And the goal of the agriculture and food chemistry. The next one is forensic chemistry. What is mean by forensic technology alcohol test biometric fingerprints these all topics include that forensic chemistry okay so one by one we will discuss in the future classes so the first one is nano chemistry so before we study about the nano chemistry one thing we discuss what is mean by applied chemistry okay so the chemical principles and the theories are applied to various field in order to achieve specific result or to solve real world problems so this is called applied chemistry okay so the chemical principle and the theory study about the or solve the real world problems that is applied chemistry okay so the applied chemistry is contain a many topics that is nano chemistry pharmaceutical chemistry dye chemistry food and agriculture chemistry etc okay so the first one is nano chemistry nano chemistry is a branch of nano science that deals with the chemical applications of nano material in nano technology it involves the synthesis and the manipulation of materials at atomic and molecular level and this study of their physical and chemical properties this is the nano chemistry how to bond to the nano chemistry already we know that the size and the shape of material influence their characteristics okay the scientists found that the materials having the size some of the meter shows special characters after that the scientists produced the such kind of materials and studied the effect of size and properties so the branch of the chemistry called as nano chemistry okay so first thing the scientists to produce a such type of a kind of material and search 
or study the size on properties so thus chemistry called as nano chemistry so this is one of the nano science branch so the nano chemistry deals with the chemical applications of the nano material nano means that very very minute okay nano material in nano technology so the nano chemistry is involved by the atomic and the molecular level of the steady state physical and chemical properties and the size of nano particles the word nano has been derived from the greek word that is nanos which is designated to represent billionth fraction of a unit for instance one nanometer equal to divided by one divided by one co meter so this type of material or the scientists are produced and research the particles okay so the one nanometer is equal to 10 power minus 9 or 0.0000000001 meter okay so the nano comes from the greek word okay nanos this represents billionth fraction of a unit so the following examples may help to illustrate how small the nano scale is okay so 1 nanometer very very small that is 0.9 Zero and one meter. Okay, a nanometer and a meter can be understood as the same size difference as between golf ball and the earth. So nanometer here, all of them are different. All of them are different. If you go golf ball, do earth here, meter here, all of them. And the two things are all different. Now. இந்த மீட்டருக்கு 1 நானோமீட்டருக்கு உள்ள டிஃபரன்ஸ் ஓகேவா நானோமீட்டர் அண்ட் 1 மீட்டருக்கு உள்ள டிஃபரன்ஸ் எப்படி இருக்கும் கோல்ஃப் பால் அண்ட் எர்த்துக்கு இருக்க டிஃபரன்ஸ் தான் மீட்டருக்கு நானோமீட்டருக்கு உள்ள டிஃபரன்ஸ் ஓகே அவ नीड्स ग्रो 1 நானோமீட்டர் ஈச் செகண்ட் சோ वी ஆர் ஹேவிங் எ नीड्स சோ ஈச் செகண்ட் The nail or growth to a one nanometer. You imagine that the how big the nanometer is measured. Okay, the virus most usually responsible for the common cold as a diameter of thirty nanometer. So, if I know the coronavirus, la under the okay ma. So same for the most of the cold and fever உருவாக்கும் வைரஸ் எல்லாமே என்னது 30 நானோமீட்டர் உடையதா இருக்கும் ஓகேவா a cell membrane is around 9 nanometer across so we are, your body have a cell membrane so the cell membrane is around 9 nanometer the dna double helix is 2 nanometer across already the dna which is 2 nanometer the diameter of one hydrogen atom is around 0.2 nanometer so the diameter of the one hydrogen atom is 0.2 nanometer so this is the size of the nano particles the next one is properties of nano materials do the nano material is measured by a very sophisticated instrument like a scanning electron microscope that is sem and scanning electron microscope cem and atomic force microscope afm so these instruments are used to, to analyze the surface properties of the nano particles with high resolution because the nano particles is very very minute okay so this is the properties of nano materials the next one is applications of nano chemistry the metallic nano particles can be used as a very active catalyst
so the nano coating and the nano composites are found useful in making variety of products such as sports equipment bicycles and automobiles etc nano technology is applied in the production of synthetic skin and implant surgery nano materials that conduct electricity being used as electronics as minor conductor to produce circuit for microchips so the nano chemistry is used in various places of the taste the nano chemistry is available today is very broad including stain resistant wrinkle free textiles cosmetics sunscreens electronics paints and varnishes so some of the points to be given in the applications of nano chemistry so the metal is nano particles used as a very active catalyst okay so nano coatings and the nano composites are found useful in making variety of products such as sports equipment by such as automobiles okay so the nano coatings and nano composites is used to making a sports equipment by such as and automobiles that is vehicles automobiles means that vehicles so the nano materials is or nano technology is used to to make a synthetic skin to use in the implant surgery okay fair clay tool abin solli solvanga adunala in the nano technology is in the surgery ki and synthetic skin undu make pandranga okay va next one is nano materials that conduct electricity or being used in electronic cells minute conductors to produce circuit for microchips so the nano materials is used in the electronic devices in the use of the conductors to produce a conduct circuit for microchips the next one is nano materials have extensive application in the preparation of the cosmetics deodorants and sunscreen lotions so okay. we are using the cosmetic products so the nano material is also used in the cosmetics perfumes sunscreen lotion etc so the nano particle substances are incorporated in fabric to prevent the growth of bacteria so the nano particles are used in the used in the destroy the bacteria in the fabric fabric la bacteria la growth avama prevent pandradhukku indha nano materials or nano particles used nano chemistry is used in making space designs and aeronautical devices so the nano chemistry is used in the that is aeronautical designs and space in the mari space sambandhama aeronautical sambandhama andha ma sambandhama things la make pandradhukku indha nano chemistry use aagudhu okay ma so what are the drawbacks of nano materials in chemistry nano particles are unstable when they react with acid and so when the nano particles react with the acid it is unstable there is a certain combustion with acid and can easily cause explosion okay during the exothermic combustion reaction easily the nano particles is explosion it is coming to a and we can in a exothermic process okay because the nano particles are highly reactive they inherently interact with impurities as well so the nano particles is, is easily reactive so it is easily react to the impurities okay so nano material is biologically harmful and toxic it is very very harmful the nano material is very very harmful it is difficult to synthesize isolate and apply them so it is very hard to synthesize isolate and apply it. there are no hard and fast safe disposable polishes of for nano material so it is a completely destroy 
or recycle is very very hard okay so this was the job back of nano materials in chemistry so in this class we discussed about unit 16 applied chemistry concept map and nano particles so size of the nano particles the properties of nano materials applications of nano chemistry and the drawbacks of nano materials in chemistry so these topics are discussed in this class thank you